Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. In this video, I'll show you my current project. Right? This is the setup that I intend to install into my house. For the sake of this testing purpose, I apply masking tape around here and here. This is masking tape. The actual case scenario, I will use this aluminum foil tape onto the unit. Right? So this, oh, this centrifuge fan, I turn it on, it will open. When I turn it on, it opens. Then the air will go in and then through the duct ventilation fan and then go out. And then this end, I will have a backdrop shutter as well. So when the air push inwards, it open. Okay. The benefit of having a backdrop shutter is actually to prevent contaminated air, air from entering the house. When you are buying this ducking, there are two types of aluminium ducking. The one on the left, it's different quality than the one on the right. If you look into these two holes here, I'll use a laser pointer. This is a cheaper version where you can see quite lots of holes around it. See, these are the hole, pitting hole. Compared to on the right, this one here, you can't see much. There are some holes, but not much surrounding it. Okay, so this is a more quality one, right? That's a difference. So it's not suitable for warm air because if you use this for warm air, the warm air would actually cause condensation with the cold air outside through the hole. You can see, I mean, not much, but there are some amount. If it's hot air, then it's not suitable for this type of aluminum ducking. Okay, so that's the difference. Now the distance from this fan to this fan is for this case, it's only one feet. My total length here in this project is roughly 19 feet. Otherwise, if a hose length is less than 10 feet, I think just one of this is good enough because one of this machine is roughly 28 watt plus this says here, 35 watt, okay? So 35 plus 28, total 63 watt of energy consumption. So I'm going to show you how the setup is going to be like. Here. All right, when it's only one, fan it's on the speed is roughly 3.2 3.2 meter per second when it's located 10 cm from the outlet from the backdrop shutter okay 3.2 meter per second so if i were to turn on the second fan increase to 4.6 so it's definitely helped by at least 30 percent so this is the concept and i'll show you the actual setup and let's go now I need to cut open the plaster ceiling prior to install the ventilation fan. It's always a good practice to survey what is behind before you really cutting it open. Now this is how it looks like. <coughs> to the area where I'm about to cut open. Now this brick debris will definitely fall onto my head if I did not check it earlier. I straight away cut it from there definitely it falls under my head so i will need to gain access up there clearing those brick debris before cutting a big hole now first i need to find out the center of the square which i've drawn earlier then i will use this wallboard saw to drill a hole at the center of the square and start to cut a triangle area out from the square then I'll then only I will have sufficient space to clear those debris before installing the manhole frame followed by the ventilation fan. Now I have cleared all the debris and I have cut the square area out using the wall board saw. I've also that means where to install the aluminum U-channel frame. Then I will push in one of this wall plug into the hole made earlier. And then I just need to use a Wellington hammer, push all the wall plug in all the way into the hole. Next, I'm going to make the supporting frame. I'll measure an inch in and bend the side wall inwards by using a plier. Then bend the flattened strip of aluminium backwards by 90 degrees. The frame will be fit onto the concrete ceiling with wall plug installed earlier like this. Now you will be careful of sharp edges. Wear a tear resistant glove while performing the installation of aluminium frame. Next, fixing the aluminium flexible ducting 
holds onto the ventilation fan here. First, remove bits of the backing paper and pull the paper as you stick the foil along the circumference onto the ventilation fan. Now it's done. Next is the backdrop shutter. I mean, the diameter for this backdrop shutter is actually smaller than the 4 inch tube. So it's going to be loose, okay? So how I'm going to counter this issue to have a tight snug fit is that I will first use the masking tape, go through one round so that it will increase the friction and also the thickness, followed by five rounds of seal tape. One layer of masking tape, followed by five rounds of seal tape. Okay, and after that, it's optional, but I think it's best if I tape it here so they won't come soft easily. Okay. Right, I bring it up and then I'll fix it. All right, this is where the hood location going out. Then this is the shutter window. This is the marker. So the air goes out, but not coming in. You can't go in through here. I just need to push it in. All right, I think that's nice. Right, so this is how it looks like. Once I secure them through here, and then there's the axle fan. So watch my previous video on how to make the stage to raise it up this height then we'll connect the flexible holes this point to that point so i've measured the distance from the tubing to the axle fan it's roughly 22 inch here but i'm not going to cut 22 but i will allow probably two inch for freeway so probably i will cut here two inch uh two feet length right so Ooh. There's going to be a wire cutter. I push the aluminium in so that I'm able to fix them to position. Followed by the other end, I'll do the same. Here, a bit here. Ah. So, I have a dark ventilation fan. Static pressure 150 Pascal, flow is 220 meter per meter cube per hour, rotational speed is 2600 meter, uh, 2600 rotation per minute, power of 35 watt. So this is how it looks like, 4 inch tubing. This is for the air and this is for the control wire to turn on the axle fan at the back. All the way back towards the the other end, there, towards the second room, and I'll show you the other room. All right, so this is where the location of the axle fan located. It comes out through that hole and the control wire. This is where the leakage is going to happen through this axle fan. I have a switch over here, and all the way out. The problem is too long here. The exhaust all the air out from my house. Let's go out and measure how fast is it. And this is the sound level up here. So this is the hood. The speed is 3.6. Let's measure the speed. Roughly 10 cm. I think it's 3.6 meter per second. Obviously there's a drop in the speed probably because of the leakage along the aluminium ducking at this 31.8 degrees celsius 52 percent relative humidity oh that's the speed you can get and i'm quite satisfied with this for total 19 feet of tubing uh, this first time watching video can I subscribe to my channel and do press on the bell button two times so that you get notified of a new video and I appreciate a thumbs up. Until then, see you in my next video. Thank you.